Good morning, my friends. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I am your Sunday blogger, Rosemary. Welcome. Let me situate you here. Okay. <clears throat> it. I woke up to a very chilly uh, California morning, and so I am wrapped up. It is cold. Okay. Question. I'm going to go section by section. I don't have any show and tell stuff today. I apologize. Um... But I'm just going to talk it out. Foods you enjoy now. Are there any foods that you enjoy now post-op that you never ate or enjoyed pre-op? I never ate edamame. And that's my uh, choice of snack now. Uh, I never ate um, uh, oysters in a can, smoked oysters. Or I did eat um, salmon in a can. I can do salmon in a can more than I can fresh salmon. Don't ask me why. Uh, it's like it's moisture, or there's you know there's more moisture in in the in the can ones pink salmon. So I I I choose to eat that. I love that stuff. And um, I got introduced to oysters by uh, Tony and Connie. So I've enjoyed those. I do the ones in the water. Uh, if I do happen to get the ones in the can, in the can, uh, in the oil, and I can't find the water ones, because sometimes those are harder to find, uh, I throw them on a paper towel, and then I take them off the paper towel, and uh, because I don't do very well with oil, oil just doesn't like me, and I don't like it. <laughs> um, what else? I didn't hardly ever eat cottage cheese until I became. Um, gastric bypass um, a patient or uh, Greek yogurt I was introduced to Greek yogurt did not like it at the beginning but then I learned how to add fruit and uh, sugar-free syrups to them and that's my that's my my go-to foods now um, I really do like that and uh, I didn't think I was ever going to get used to that Greek yogurt but it it has become a friend I use it as the sour cream too um Okay, next question. Any foods you eat more now than ever? Um, fish and chicken, cottage cheese. Uh, yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm trying to think of anything different that I eat a lot of. Eggs, I guess, is a lot. It's a, it's a number one staple in my house. Um, Okay, what are th those foods I told you? Are there any foods that you 100% do not eat? Uh, I don't think there's a food out there that's 100% that I don't eat. Um, even pasta doesn't like me, or I don't like it. It's not that I, it won't stay down. I have issues with pasta. But I do, I found quinoa in my life, and... Um, I like quinoa. Quinoa is um, a grain that you have to really, really wash, even though it comes in a box. And uh, one cup to two cups of water, you make it just like if it was rice. And you can do a lot with quinoa. Um, I don't eat a lot of it. I mean, I do make it. And it's an, it's an occasional item because it, it is high in carbs, but it, 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 it is a great protein. Um, they say it's a superfood. They say it's the best uh, uh, source of protein that you would want it, because of the grains and the. You'd have to read up on quinoa. Uh, what else? Um, cheese. Uh, it's high in fat and, um, but it's a good source of protein. Um, I think I'm going to end it here because I'm not I sure. I remember that I did a video talking about what I eat and stuff, so I will be putting that down below. Hopefully I can tag it. I hope I can do this right, if else. And you know I have to have my coffee. <laughs> this is one of my staples in my house. <laughs> uh, thanks to Frolicking Froggy. Thank you, sweetheart. Uh, every time I go into my into my uh, pantry, I always thank you. I always say thank you. Thank you so much. Um, anyway, I will end it here. Uh, I am back from Tony's. I was there a week. 
seven days and enjoyed myself tremendously. Uh, my husband has uh, pampered me. He, we stayed home yesterday and just literally just uh, had a lazy Saturday. Today we've got things to do, so we've got to get up and get dressed and, and go here in a minute. But I had to do proof weight loss surgery works first, so I appreciate you guys coming by and uh, saying hi to me and uh, make your tool work for you. And we'll see you next Sunday. Bye for now.